You're the mayor of the city that's the home to the Me Too movement, that's the home to, you know, the most radical fringes of, of the Democratic Party. Yep. Resistance is important, right? We have to stand up for our values, no question. But if that's the uh, end all be all, if your agenda is just to resist, then you're, you're, you're ceding the power you already have before you exercise it. Ninety percent of your time should be doing things where you live, where you work, and where you have power. Because if you just think it comes from the White House, you will get beat down every single day. And this country has never come from Washington, D.C. out. It's always come from our local communities in. Most of the work on the environment, for instance, is in the hands of cities and states. We've got a network of 409 mayors that are implementing Paris Climate Accords. Yeah. Doesn't matter if President Trump's going to be part of it or not. We're going to do that, and we're ahead of schedule. People have this, this notion that this is really the bluest of blue and the most fierce in its resistance to Trump. What do you say mm -hmm. when Donald Trump and other Republicans, including people like Kevin McCarthy, mm -hmm. point to California and say, that's what's to fear, and there are Democrats mm -hmm. across the country who go, yeah, like, mm -hmm. we don't want to be caricature right. as the California Democratic yeah. Party. Well, look, I'm, I'm proud of my state. I'm proud of activists in my state. I'm proud that we stand up for what I think are American values. But it's also that caricature isn't the world that I live in. And here, you know, this is no different than the quote-unquote heartland. I always say L.A. is the heartland. Yeah. We had car factories that shut down. We got, you know, most people aren't Kardashians, that we have more of them here. Than you have a higher proportion of Kardashians. Still a very small percentage, but it is the highest in the United States. Yeah. Um, you know, most of us are nurses and bus drivers and factory workers. You know, when I hear you say Los Angeles is the heartland, you recognize that people in the heartland who need to vote Democratic, it will sound ridiculous to them. It doesn't make it wrong. If somebody wants to call it ridiculous, come here, spend some time in Fontana, spend some time in Santa Clarita, spend some time in the San Fernando Valley, spend some time even in the heart of South Los Angeles and tell me whether the values there are out of whack where God and religion is talked about every single day. We've got more Midwesterners probably here in LA than in many Midwestern towns. It's not rural versus urban, it's not coastal versus heartland, east coast, west coast. It's kind of Washington and the rest of us. There's definitely a sense of nobody's listening to me still. This booming economy doesn't feel like it to them. And so you can tap into that, that passion people have to do something local. So I think the, the outrage, I still feel everywhere. And a sense that I can't sit this one out. 